even if he did spook, he might come back with the collar bow in that direction. He might be able to- Oh, he's right there! He's right there, Zach! Oh my god, he's right there! 20 yards in front of us! Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hunter Classic. This is the Hunter D33, and today I'm joined by Z Trophy Buck Z. And we are actually going to go after some Lynx. Now, a few weeks back, the Lynx were introduced to the Hunter Classic. And I haven't had a chance to try and find any yet. So I haven't even seen a Lynx. And I don't know if Zach's gotten any or not. But we're going to go out and see if we can't find our first Lynx. All right, so this looks like a pretty good place to start off. I think we're going to put out the collar here. And maybe get in some cover and see if we can't call on our first Lynx. Well, this is the fun part. Just have to look around and wait and watch. All right, so after several minutes of trying to track down a lynx, well, we first tried to put out a couple of calls in some locations, didn't have much luck with that. So then we finally caught a track and decided to track him down. We just got a warning call from him right over here. So if you look at the map, we were set out right here calling and the lynx never actually showed up. But what happened is we picked up the track here, tracked him all the way around here. And we ended up right here right now. So the lynx is probably somewhere over here, but we have Zach sneaking in behind us now. We have a caller set up here. Now we're just waiting for him to step out. The Lynx just called? Yep. Oh, I have eyes on him. I see him. I see the Lynx. He's coming in. He is coming in. Our first sighting of a Lynx, and I can't believe it. Finally. Like I said, we were calling in two or three different locations and didn't have any luck. So finally, we found a track, tracked him down, and he just put out a call right over here. I don't know if it's a male or a female, but we're soon to find out. If he's got spots or an ear tucks, it's a male. But if it doesn't, it's a female. All I could see Wait, was... What color is it? Is it orange or white? Uh, it looks sort of orangish brown. All I could really see was the, the ear and the neck part coming sort of this direction. And right now I can't see it. Yeah, he was within 150. Oh, there he is. There he is. I see him. I see him. He looks kind of brownish, orange colored. He just stopped at about 90, 90 out. I can't quite tell because I have the range finding binoculars on him now. I'm going to pull out the regular binoculars. I believe it's a female because the ears look pretty normal to me. I can almost get a spotting on it. It just stopped. Let's try and get a spotting with the scope here. Yep, it is a female, and here she comes. All right, we're not going to be able to wait too much longer because she's going to get close, and she might end up sensing us here. Go ahead and shoot it once you have a perfect opportunity. I don't care if I can see it or not. Yeah, because once it gets to this tree here, it's going to be way too close for a shot, so we just might have to take a shot right about. Now! Dropped it. I don't know. She stopped. She started walking. Then she stopped for one more second. Took the shot and she went down. We got our first Lynx. Let's go take a look. Yeah, you know, at least we got one down. Finally, we know what they look like. We know how they act. Uh, apparently, they're very skittish. They're even really difficult to track too because one minute you're tracking them one way. The next minute they turn around and do a complete 360 and you don't know which way they went. But here's our first Lynx right here it's a female and let's take a look what do you think i don't know what a decent score is on these links but we'll pick it up here looks like we made a 63 meter skull brain neck bone one and neck bone two shot she scored 6.1 and she weighed 13.7 kgs definitely take a trophy shot our first eurasian links with the ar223 a, a nice sized lynx um, is like is ten plus. My first male lynx was a was a ten. All right, so it seems like they kind of score similar to what a good sized bobcat would score. Yeah, but but their maximum is like I think almost twelve because they can get past eleven. Okay, that's pretty cool. Right about there. Very cool. I like that. Let's go with that. And 
and hopefully we can find a nice male now. We'll continue on and see if we can find one. So at least we know how to get them now. We just have to find a track, track them down, and spot them, put out a call, and see if we can get them to come back in. So we just tracked down another lynx down to this ravine down here, and we're just waiting for him to pop out and see if we can see him. Nice. Oh, I found the lynx. I found the lynx. I was just looking over here because I saw a bull moose, and we got a lynx. And he is down. It looked like that might have been a male because he had some pretty cool ears on him. There's the bull Go moose. Check him out. It might be a male. Uh, not that big of a bull moose, but that lynx was pretty cool. Yeah, we were actually trying to call him in down here, but he was way off to the side. I don't know if he was spooked or what was going on, but luckily, barely caught a glimpse of him and managed to take a nice shot. All right, here's our second lynx we just got, and it looks like it could be a nice male. Yeah, very cool ears on it. I thought I could see something really cool going on with the ears. It was a long ways out. We made a nice shot. Let's pick it up. And we made a 135.5 meter shot. He scores 9.7. So that's a pretty decent sized male, and I think we might get this one mounted. All right, let's take a really cool trophy shot of this guy. Very cool. Only bad part is you can see the branches in the background, but still, I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, let's go with that, and we'll get him mounted because he's our first nice male lynx, and these are not easy to hunt. Not even close. And Zach's over there having some fun with some reindeer, so he decided to go off on his own with that, but hopefully he joins us back soon, and maybe we can find some lynx and maybe even get him one. All right, so we just caught up to another lynx, and we have fresh track going right this direction here. This time, Zach is actually locked and loaded. He's ready right behind us. All right, so in which case, we should be able to call this lynx in. Just need to get to a position where we could see a little bit. There's a rock up there. Oh, big rock right there. Do you see that huge rock? Zach, there's a huge rock right uh, kind of to the left of us there. Yeah, I see it. I think we could put the collar out here and be able to get up this rock. So we'll get a little bit closer. We'll go prone. We should be able to climb right up this rock and get in a position to see this lynx coming in. Yep. Climb right up this rock right here. And you'll be in a pretty good yeah. position. Perfect. I was able to climb right up it. You should be able to as well. Just keep an eye and see if we can see him coming. I don't think he would spook from us being up here. Wow, we can see really good up here, Zach. So there's a chance he probably spooked when we were coming up here because he might have smelled us, but even if he did spook, he might come back with the collar bow in that direction. He might be able to, oh, he's right there, he's right there, Zach. Oh my God, he's right there, 20 yards in front of us. Get ready and take a shot, Zach. He's right there, do you see him? It's a nice male, nice shot. <laughs> I was just thinking that he might have took off, and Zach just got an awesome male. Nice shot. Yeah, he's a male too. Oh yeah, I could there see he that. Is. He was so Let's close. See what he scored. All right, here he is. He scores eight point two. Really nice links. Nice job, Zach. Really cool. He just came out of nowhere like a ghost. I know. He came in so slow, but he was like right dead center in between us. And he just appeared. And you can see just how close he was. Let's get a rangefinder out. And I would say that's probably... When I said 20 yards, I wasn't kidding. <laughs> Look, that's actually 20 yards away from this rock. It's saying 16. We're a little bit higher. Yeah, 17, 18. Yeah, he, he was about 20. How far did it say the shot was, Zach? Uh, like, tw around 20, I didn't really check, like, 22 meters, I think. Around 22 meters? Nice, nice. Big bull ranger, big bull ranger, right there. I don't have anything to take a shot on him with, except for the AR-223. He is right there. I, I don't have anything. Try and call him in. Big bull. 
Biggest one I've seen in a while. I would say he's probably 550s. The only thing I have is the Camel Pulsar. Okay, so Zach, you know the rock that we were just on? Right over here? Yeah. He's right behind this rock. I don't know. Well, you know what? He was probably spooked from the shot, but he didn't really know where it came from. So the funny part is he was standing basically right next to where we were. He was right behind that big rock right there. So I believe he's still a little bit nervous, which is why he's taking his time to come in. But he has some really big shovels on him. Nice tops. Definitely a big bull reindeer. The bull is Hearing right footsteps. there. He's right there. Like 40 yards in front of us. I'm going prone. Try and get back up this rock if you can. He is right there. This, what, after I shoot him, is this going to be where we end the video? Uh, maybe, but look, here he comes, here he comes. Look at him. Big bull reindeer. He does have his right side all busted up. Awesome bull. If you can get a shot, take it right there. He's like 40 yards away, Zach. And I don't think he's going to hang out too long. Nice shot. Wow. Pretty awesome. Nice links. And a big bull reindeer. Nice way to end the hunt. Well, pick him up. See what he's going to score. And he scores 493. But I bet without deductions, he's probably close to 550s. It's a great bull. Yeah, very cool. He's all busted up though. Looks like his tops are busted up and the one shovel is missing on the right side there. Still a great bull. So right after we just picked up that last bull, we actually realized that there was another big bull in the same group and he might be as big, if not bigger than the other bull. Oh, I hear, I hear. Bull is right on top of us. Bull is right on top of us. <laughs> nice, Zach. <laughs> I was about to hit him on the run with the bow, but Zach ended up finishing him off. That's not the same bull that I saw. I left him dead in his tracks. Yeah, that's I definitely. I wonder if he's even the same bull that. This is the same one we were tracking, but it's not the same one that I saw. I saw one that was a lot bigger than this. Pick him up and see what he scores. Four fifty-eight. Yeah, he's a decent bull. Definitely a pretty decent bull. I think this is the one that I saw right here. All right, so we actually just found the big bull ranger that I thought was six hundred plus. And this is him, 520 to 660 score on him. And he's probably going to be over 550s, I guess. So, Zach, if you can get a shot, go for it. You want to take a shot? All right. Yeah, I'll take the shot. All right, here we go. And he's down. All right, well, go over there and go see how big he is. I might mount. Yeah, he's a really nice bull. He's uh, probably 560, 580s. 551.1. Awesome bull. Great bull. Biggest I've shot in a long while. Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to put this one in my lodge. Yeah, he looks all of 600 plus. Giant. Can see him from here really good. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to be a pretty awesome way to end this video. We ended up with Zach getting a nice lynx and then two reindeer right on top of that. We ended up trying to take a shot on him with the carbon recurve. We just barely hit behind him, but then Zach ended up making the nice shot. And so thank you for hunting, Zach. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and we'll see you next time.